Oh, wow. Thank you for coming Monday, 7 p.m. Los Angeles time. Uh, there, was, I think the full moon was last night. And I felt like a crazy person yesterday uh, during the full moon. It was like the mind was just really going wild and I was having a lot of trouble in my mind with all of humanity. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious when that happens. And I was taking a, a vet's dog, Bella, out late and I was looking at the moon and then uh, we were walking in the parking lot uh, behind the building, which is uh, kind of against uh, the Barnsdale Park. And uh, I kind of sensed something over my shoulder and I looked back and there was a coyote who had climbed uh, under the fence. Um, so I, I said, oh, we need to get out of here. So we started uh, going to the far end of the uh, parking lot and uh, I walked down a set of stairs that I, I never uh, walked down before um, just to, uh, cause I wanted to remove myself from the coyote. And as I, I turned and I, uh, there's like a light that kind of comes into your eyes. I never took those stairs before and I stepped off and the step, which I thought was gonna be like a step turned out to be like two steps. And I came down really hard on my uh, right leg and I, I felt it a whole bunch in my back. And uh, so I, we went back to my apartment. I did what I always do whenever I feel like I've kind of jarred my back. And this is my, I guess this story is my how to unjar your back is uh, I went in my apartment and I have one of those, they call them the, I think they call them the iron gym or something. It's a pull up bar. Let's grab that and then just do a free hanging uh, for a little bit as long as I can trying to let the back really open up. And uh, I learned this actually from my father who had back problems. His doctor said, if you can hang from something and my current chiropractor uh, told me the same thing. And uh, just to make this story even longer, I remember when I didn't crash it, but my 92 Toyota pickup got crashed. Someone crashed into me. The first thing I did when I went home is hung on that uh, pull-up bar three days in a row. And I really cleaned up my back. So um, anyways, that's the story. That and a full moon and a coyote. Thank you for coming. I'm going to spew back so we can do a little bit of sitting. When sitting, uh, we maybe cross the legs a little bit. Kind of get your foundation, really pulling the core in, lengthening up the back, pulling the shoulder blades a little bit back and down. We're going to uh, do this. Uh, we're going to bring the head down to the chin just for a moment. And then all the way back up, maybe looking a little bit at the ceiling and then back down. Now I like to call this yes. Just breathing and moving the neck a little bit. Good, back to center. And we're gonna do no, which <laughs> feel like, you know, resistance is the uh, cause of much of my suffering. So we're gonna keep doing no, but, uh, before we move on, we'll do yes again, just to level things out. Good, back to center, a little more yes. I agree. Good, uh, to center with the head, push the walls out, pulling the fingers back. We're just gonna take a moment here Feel the thumbs and the forefinger and the squaring finger really pulling back and opening and opening through the palms. We're keeping the shoulders down and the core engaged. We're gonna to turn to the right. We're gonna stay here a couple of breaths. The breathing is in and out through the nose. Then we're gonna go all the way over uh, to the other side. Keep on breathing. Good, back to center. Uh, let's put the hands at the top of the mat and go right on straight back. 
to the top of a push-up with the belly and legs tight, continuing the breathing in the nose. And when you're ready, we're gonna lower down, maybe hover two inches, up dog, rolling forward, third eye looking, tight legs, and down dog, tucking the toes, looking back at the feet, which are two fists apart. You can bend one leg, push the opposite heel towards down, stepping a little bit back and forth in place, continuing the breathing. All right, let's walk our way up to the top of the mat. Feet together, fingers low, maybe on the shins. We're going to look up, forward fold. Let's engage the core on this first one. We're coming all the way up to the ceiling. Hands in prayer, we're coming down through the heart center. We're going to push into the earth and circle all the way back up on an in-breath. Breathing out, forward folding, fingers low. We look up. We step back, top of push up, everything tight, lower drop, up dog, legs tight, and down dog looking at navel. If you like, stay still. If you prefer, up on the toes on the in breath, down with the heels on the out breath. We'll take several breaths on this one. All right, step up, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, we forward fold, all the way back up, reaching out and up. Down again through the heart, we push into the earth, we circle back up, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out, forward folding, again, fingers low. We look up, flatten the back. We step in, top push up again, lower drop. Up dog and down dog. Very nice breathing right here. Eyes open, looking at the knees or the navel. Middle fingers straight forward. All the breathing, both directions is in and out through the nose. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up. Forward fold, all the way back up. We're doing one more. Hands in prayer coming down through the heart center again, push into the earth, circle back up on the in-breath. Breathing out, forward fold, fingers low. Look up, flatten the back. Step in again, top of push up. Lower drop, maybe hover two inches. Up dog and down dog. Very nice. Remember, you're welcome to rest anytime you want. Keep breathing in the nose. All right, step, walk, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, we forward fold. Let's come on all the way up to the ceiling. We're going to bring the hands together with the uh, pointing fingers coming straight up, pointing up, 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 up. And then we're going to arch back a little bit. And then arms right back down at the sides. And we're at the top of the mat again, big toes touching ankles a little bit apart. All right, let's sit in chair, Ukatasana. Good. Up over, again, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, flat in the back. Step in again, top push up, lower and drop. Up dog, down dog. A warrior one, please, on the right. Right foot steps, left foot pivots out flat. We're gonna keep the knee over the ankle. We're gonna reach the arms up. The outside edge of that back left foot, try to root it into the mat and reach the left arm forward. Very nice, touch the sky. And again, hands back down, stepping back, lower drop, up dog, roll it forward, down dog. 
Uh, left foot stepping, right foot pivots out, back up. See if you can root the outside edge of that uh, right foot into the mat, but reach the right arm forward. Breathing here. Great, touch the sky. And again, hands back down, step back, lower drop, up dog, and down dog. And very nice. We're going to breathe right here. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, the forward fold. Feet and knees together, sitting in chair, standing, shoulders back, tight core. Let's keep doing it. We sit in chair again. Right up over, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, we step back, top of push up, lower drop, up dog, down dog. Uh, right foot again, warrior one, right foot steps, left foot turns out. Back up, hands in prayer above the head, looking up if possible, lengthening up from the core to the fingers to the moon. All right, hands back down, step back, lower drop, up dog, down dog. Left foot step in, right foot pivots out. Back up, hands in prayer again above the head, lengthening up, breathing. All right, hands down again, please step back, top of push up, lower drop, up dog, and down dog. We're gonna stay right here. All right, step, hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, the forward fold, feet and knees together, sitting in chair, standing, shoulders back. The last two today that we're going to do, we're gonna do with crescent pose. You're welcome to continue with warrior one if you feel more comfortable with that. But I wanna throw it in, it's a different feel and I'll, I'll talk you through it. Let's sit in chair again. Good. Up over, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, we step back, again, top of push up, lower drop, up dog, and down dog. So we're gonna stay on the ball of the left foot. So the heel stays up, but we're on the ball of the left foot. We're gonna step the right foot top of the mat and come up. Crescent is kind of uh, a little bit easier pose to do uh, as far as telling people to do it, but it's a little more of a balancing pose. And then arms up again. We're gonna breathe here. You could bring the hands in prayer and look up, and that, that will be difficult because it is more of a balancing pose than warrior one. But it's a different stretch through the quad up into the torso. All right, hands down again, step back, lower and drop. Up dog and down dog. Left foot stepping will always be on the ball of the right foot. Still knee uh, over ankle, less is okay. And again, if you wanted to try uh, hands in prayer, we are welcome to. Take a couple breaths here. All right, hands down again. Please step back, top push up. Lower drop, up dog, and down dog. We're going to breathe here, and we're going to do one more in a moment, but just stay here for now. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, forward fold, feet and knees together, sitting in chair. Standing, shoulders back, tight core. Okay, let's go one more. Sit in chair with crescent. 
up over forward, folding fingers low. We look up, we step back again, top of push up, lower to drop, up dog, down dog, right side uh, crescent again, right foot stepping, Woo, back up. We're gonna stay here for a moment, keep breathing. If you ever do any kind of, well, it's kind of weird to say this, but hardcore Tai Chi, they do this, but they bounce. If you ever wanted to just try bouncing right here, just bounce a little bit. It pulls a little bit more stretching the quad. Good, hands down again, step back, lower drop, up dog, and down dog, and uh, left foot stepping. Staying on the ball, the right for crescent again. Up with the arms. And if you bounced on the other side, you can bounce a little bit on this side. Very nice. Hands down again. Step on back. Lower drop. Up dog. And down dog. We stay here many breaths. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We're gonna to look up, forward fold, feet and knees. We're gonna sit in chair and we're gonna stay in chair. It's breathing right here. And stay in arm down. Let's take the feet apart about the distance of the hips or shoulders. You can grab elbows. You grab prayer if you prefer. Elbows gives a little more freedom to open the shoulders. We're going to hang down. You could swing those arms a little bit if you like. You could just stay still. You could bounce. Let everything drop off your back. All of it. Everything must go. And you may wish to engage the core on an in-breath. We're coming all the way up to the ceiling. And then on an out-breath, all the way down, we're going to take the peace fingers underneath the big toes, thumbs touching on the inside, elbows out and away, top of the head down. Good, up again, touch the ceiling. And on an out breath, back down. Uh, it's okay to bend the legs, by the way, if you need to, want to. Good. They pull up on the feet, bring the top of the head down, breathing in the nose. And back up, and we will be at the top of the mat just for a moment here, a couple of breaths. We didn't pivot last week, so we're gonna pivot uh, tonight. Left foot steps back the distance of one of your legs. So the base of triangle, heel to heel, front foot running forward, back foot about 45 degrees, arms out over those heels. We're gonna take a breath in. And as we breathe out, we're going to reach out and right hand down, maybe on the shin. If you look down, you want your nose pointing to the foot and the left arm straight up. And maybe if it's possible, look to the uh, reaching hand that's going up to the ceiling.
Great, come on up. We're gonna do our first pivot. Right toes turning to 45 degrees. Left toes turn straight out the back. We're gonna reach out over that left foot and we'll catch in triangle on the other side. We breathe here. Good, back up. We're gonna pivot again, left toes to 45, right toes out. Let's shorten the stance a couple of inches and we're gonna twist triangle, but firstly, reach your left arm way out as if you're starting to forward fold, but just so the, the torso is almost parallel to the earth. And then left hand down, right arm up. You can put the back of the hand outside of the leg to grip your big toe down into the mat in the front, lengthen your breath, lengthen your spine. Great, back up. We're gonna pivot again. Right toes 45, left toes straight out the back. Reach that right arm way out. And right hand down, left arm up. Don't let the hip jump out on the left. Keep it tucked in. We're going to breathe here. Good, back up, let's pivot again. Left toes to 45, right toes out. We're gonna re-lengthen the stance so that we can do warrior two, arms uh, back out over the legs here. Couple more breath in warrior two. We're gonna hold the core and drop the shoulders, looking at the right hand. And let's do extended side angle. We're gonna take the center of the right forearm, placing it on the leg near the knee, left arm up and over. Those of you that want to can put your right hand on the ground, inside or outside, but right next to the foot. Let's breathe. Good, back up. We'll have to straight this right leg. We're gonna turn that right foot into 45, the left foot out the back of the mat. We're gonna get warrior two here again for a moment. We'll breathe here. Good, forearm on the leg, right arm up and over. Nice and long breathing. I'm really rooting the outside edge again of my back foot here, trying to put the length all the way up the body, through the arm, through the leg, to the foot. Great, back up. We're gonna pivot again to warrior two, left toes 45, right toes out. I'm gonna bend that right leg. Give it a moment. Let warrior two feel comfortable. And let's uh, turn the right palm to face the uh, ceiling. Just gently place the left hand on the back leg. We're gonna arch back, looking up along the elbow to the ceiling, breathing in the nose.
Good, straight that right leg. We pivot again, right toes 45, left toes out. Warrior two for a breath or two. Turn that left hand so the palm faces the ceiling. And we arch it back, looking up along the elbow. We're gonna breathe here. Good, let's straight that left leg. We're gonna come into horse. So I'm gonna turn initially both feet straight forward. Then I'm gonna slightly splay the toes. I'm gonna to bend the legs. And we're gonna hold the moon. We're gonna breathe here. Very nice, straight the legs, turn the toes to run straight forward, straight up with the hands to the ceiling, and then straight down to the line the big toes are making. Maybe just fingers down, let the head drop, maybe palms down, let the head drop. The elbows can point a bit back through the legs. We're gonna stay here. Come on up, reach to the ends of the fingers. Behind the back, we will intertwine those fingers. You can push the palms together, which will release tension in your upper back. You could also have them apart if you prefer. We're gonna forward fold, lifting the arms up off the back. And then breathe here. Back up, touch the ceiling. Back down, you grab the shins, ankles, or big toes. Keep the legs straight, no matter where you get with the hands, pull the elbows out a bit. Keep the legs straight, keep on breathing. We're gonna stay down low, both hands over to the right, left shoulder rotates under and through. And please to the other side, right shoulder. Good, let's stand, let's shorten the stance to about three feet apart. We're gonna turn the right toes straight to the front of the mat, left toes 45 degrees, we're doing pyramid, arms out so that we can turn the chest to face front of space. Hands behind the back, you can grab elbows or reverse prayer. Pull the shoulder blades a bit back together. We're gonna to look up and on an out breath, we're gonna keep the shoulder blades together, but we're gonna whoa, forward fold, looking at the foot and we're gonna stay here. Those of you that like can stay just like this. If you prefer warrior three, hop up onto that uh, right foot.
Ardha Chandrasana, right hand down, left arm up. And switching the hands, that is tough. Let it be tough, it's all right. And put that left foot back where it was. We're gonna pivot, right toes to 45, left toes out, arms out again. And behind the back, elbows, reverse prayer. Either one, we're gonna look up, and we're gonna fold down and look at the left foot. You can stay here or jump on up to warrior three as best as you can. Ardhashandrasana, if you like, left hand down, right arm up. And switch the hands. All right. Let's stand. Let's shake it all out. Get it all loose, even the fingers. All right. It's going to be a pleasure to do tree at this point. We're going to stand on the left foot. We're going to lift the uh, Right, grab the right ankle, see if you can get that locked. You can put it out in the front if you prefer. Hands to the heart or all the way up. And we're gonna stay just like this. Breathing in the nose. Core can lift in and up a little bit. We're still trying to stand tall even though we are balancing. Right, let that down, step it out. And uh, we're gonna stand on the right foot for tree. We're gonna lift the left. And however you did it on the other side, see if you can uh, copy that. All right, let that down, step it out. Back to standing on the left foot. We're gonna lift the right knee. The right hand's gonna grab the right knee. Left hand's gonna be on the uh, hip. You can stay here. You could extend the leg, grabbing the big toe. Uh, if you just hold the knee, you're welcome to flex that foot a little bit, pulling the toes up towards the shin. We breathe and stand tall. Open that leg out to the right as you do your best to look to the left. Back to center, leg out on its own. Show me the bottom of your foot. Woo, let that down, step it out. 
All right, we're going to stand on the right. We're going to lift the uh, left, left on left. We're going to stay right here. If you do whatever you get on the other side as best as you can, if you grab the big toe, please do that. I'm going to flex my foot on this one and leave it higher, holding the knee. And we're going to open that leg out to the left as we try to look to the right. Back to center, show me the bottom of your foot. All right, let that down, step it out. Uh, we're gonna stand on the left foot. We're gonna grab the right ankle and reach that knee straight down as if there was a foot down there. We're standing heavily on the earth. The left hand's going all the way up to the sky. We're just gonna stay here, engaging the core. If you're wanting to do King Dancer, you're welcome to. This is uh, good for opening the quad, which is good for the low back and let's breathe. Great, let that down, step it out, and let's uh, stand on the right. We're gonna grab the left, reaching that left knee straight down. Oh, right arm straight up. All right, let that down. Uh, heels about under the hips, toes slightly splayed. Let's come down into a squat. We put the elbows against the legs and hands in prayer will push open the legs further, lengthening up the back. If you wanted to, I wouldn't rush, but if you wanted to quickly do crow or headstand or even do crow and headstand as we do this other thing. But for here, let's just take a couple of breaths. And we're going to do another, a little more work that's uh, good for uh, low back. That's going to be one of three. We've been doing it for a while now, so everyone's getting very familiar with it. Let's come all the way up, hands in prayer to the ceiling, lengthen up. If you want to arch back a little bit and lift your heart, go ahead. And then back down, hands straight forward. And then number two, up again, all the way up. If you want to arch back, lift the heart and uh, back down again, hands straight forward. And then one more, all the way uh, back up. Good, all the way down and let's come to hands and knees. Just a tiny bit of cat and cow, let the belly drop down. On the in-breath, on the out-breath, we are arching the back. And let's continue. Good, to center, look over the right shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. To center again, step the right foot uh, top of the mat. And let's reach the arms up in a nice big funnel here. We're gonna stay right like this breathing. Again, we are lengthening through the quad quite a bit. Let the hips hang down. Left elbow outside of right leg. Hands in prayer pulling towards the chest. We turn the fingers up to the face. You could stay here. You could roll back on the ball of the left foot, lifting the knee, straightening the leg. Either way, let's just breathe.
All right, let's do uh, the other side. So step that right knee back, step the left foot forward and back up with the arms. And we're gonna stay here again. And right elbow outside of the leg, hands in prayer, pull in. And same as you did on the other side, see if you can match that. And we breathe here. All right, hands down. Let's step back. We're going to make our way to pigeon. So we're stepping back on uh, top of push up. We're going to lower and drop. Up dog, down dog. Let's hold the right foot up for a moment. You can bend that leg, opening up the hip, keep the armpit down. And then throw that right shin top of the mat. Scoop the left leg a little back, lift your heart to the ceiling. And then hands, forearms down, head down, keeping the knee outside the right ribs. And we're gonna take several breaths resting here. All right, hands down again. Let's we'll step back, shake that right leg a bit. Top push up nice and tight. We lower down, up dog, and down dog. I'm gonna hold the left foot up. And you can bend that leg if you like, opening up the hip. And throw that shin top of the mat, scoop the right leg back. Lift the heart, hands down, forearms down, head down. We breathe here. All right, hands down again. We're stepping back. You can shake that leg that was bent if you like. Top of push up, super strong. Lower down, up dog, roll it forward. Down dog. And let's sit down. Feet straight out in front. We're going to dynamic forward fold. We're going to breathe in and reach up. We're going to breathe out and try to touch the toes. Back up, breathing in. Forward folding out breath, keep the legs straight. It's all right if you don't get to the toes. Good, touch the ceiling. 
and then arms down. Let's get the external part of the hips. We're gonna take the right heel under the left hip and that left foot just outside of the uh, right knee, which is pointing straight forward. You can stay here just sitting up tall. It's a lot for a lot of us. Or right hand grabs the left shoelace. We're gonna pull back. Uh, with the feet grounded, you can put the fingertips on the ground and lus uh, lunge a little forward. You can stay here. You can do right arm up, down the back, grabbing elbow or intertwining fingers uh, behind the back. I'm going to keep holding the elbow. Keep the head pushing against your arm. Keep breathing. You can pull the core in a little bit. Excellent, let's unwind it all and then switch it up. Left uh, heel under the right hip. And then again, it'd be great just to do this. I can feel my body even reacting to that. You can uh, grab the uh, shoelaces and pull back and uh, lunge a little forward if you like. You know, left arm up if you care to, grabbing the elbow or behind the back. Take your time, don't overdo it, keep on breathing. All right, unwrap all of that. You can put the legs out and shake them for a moment. And we're gonna bend the right leg with the right foot flat on the mat. Left arm is gonna grab that leg. Right hand six inches behind you. Pull the shoulder back, gently look back. Of, of course, you're welcome to put the elbow outside. Keep the left foot kind of pointing to the ceiling. Keep on breathing. All right, let's switch it. Right leg out, left foot in there tight. Right arm grabs the leg and hand behind you. Sit up tall, elbow outside if you care to. All right, to center again, both heels down, both legs bent, arms under the legs, roll back under the tail. You can stay here. You can let go, lock the shoulders back, look at the feet. You can straighten the legs. It's one of five. Keep on breathing, looking at the feet with the shoulders back. Cross the legs, grab the shin, sit up really tall. Great, up again, number two of five. Cross the legs, sit up tall. And number three. Cross the legs, sit up tall. Uh, number four. Cross the legs, sit up tall. 
And number five. All right, hug those knees in, let's lie back. You can grab the shins and pull them down. You can bring the nose up to the knees. And then we're gonna do bridge, feet down flat, feet on knees, two fists apart, longest finger almost touches the heel. You're welcome to do Ardha Dhanurasana. But for bridge, we're gonna lift the hips, tuck the shoulders under a little bit, intertwine the fingers, and we're gonna push the arms against the mat, lifting the hips to the sky, breathing, looking at the ceiling. And back down, we're going upside down. We're starting with plow, you're welcome to skip it. We're kicking the feet up and over the head, heavy toes falling to the earth, hands either on the back or intertwined fingers with the arms on the mat. We take several breaths right here. And if your hands are not on the back, place them there now and lift the feet straight up, toes to the ceiling, heavy shoulders, heavy elbows, breathing, looking at the toes. And let's bend the legs, bring the knees down towards the ears, reach back, grab the soles of your feet and lower yourself into dead bug. And dead bug is gonna rock back and forth, but keep the head just hanging on the mat, knees in the armpits, soles of the feet up to the sky. All right, bring the uh, knees into the chest, the arms out like a T. We're gonna take a breath in. As we breathe out, let the knees fall to the right. As we look to the left, you could put the right hand on top of those legs if you care to. And let's come back up to center. And then on an out breath, over to the other side, looking to the reaching hand out the right. Back to center again, hug the knees into your chest. Thank yourself for coming out. Tell yourself you did a good job. And we're gonna end in a five minute uh, meditation. So if you feel like it, roll yourself up to a seated position. I am going to sit on this uh, rolled up mat. 
uh, with my legs crossed as gently as possible. I'm gonna set a timer. There we go. Um, we can intertwine the fingers with the thumbs touching or one hand on top of the other with the thumbs touching. Shoulders a little bit back, chin hanging slightly towards the chest, eyes gently closed and become aware of the body breathing itself. And just feel that and witness that like it is the most interesting thing in the world.
And let's bring the hands of the heart center, rub them together, making great fire. And like a big funnel receiving all the gifts of the universe, we're gonna breathe in through the nose as much as we can get. We're gonna breathe in more through the mouth and even more. Hold the breath, tighten the core, tighten the legs, lift the floor, and then let everything out. Ah. You're living your dream, don't miss it, namaste. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Happy holidays to everyone. I will be here Wednesday as well. Uh, it's danieloverberger.com. You can find links to my Venmo and PayPal there. I appreciate all the donations that have been sent.